Good morning, and welcome to Morning Manna. Today is Monday, October the 15th, 2018, and this is episode 2877. My name is Bruce Turner. Welcome to today's Morning Manna and a brand new week. I have a great story to share with you this morning. Today's episode is titled, Rest or Restless? Stay tuned. So from time to time, God gives me what I want to share and need to share on morning manna through an experience that I've had doing, yes, Uber and Lyft driving. (laughs) I hope you enjoy those stories. Normally, I don't Uber or Lyft drive on Sundays. My wife and I have other things that we do together, but she and her sisters made their trip and made their way yesterday to Maggie Valley for an annual uh, event that they do together, just the three of them enjoying time together in a beautiful cabin in a beautiful setting. So I thought, you know, I'm I'm here by myself. I'm just going to go out and do a little Uber and Lyft driving. And I enjoy doing it. I enjoy having conversations and uh, just encouraging people, uplifting people. And it's just a blessing. I, I, I cannot tell you <laughs> how much I enjoy it. And so I was waiting uh, for a ride, and I got a ride request. It was a a 60-plus. Now, if you're not an Uber or Lyft driver, you don't know what that means. But a 60-plus ride request means that it's a long ride. It's going to be uh, over 60 minutes. And it could be well over 60 minutes, or it could be just a few minutes over 60 minutes. But I like long rides because it provides a, a greater opportunity Uh, for me to have whatever conversation God might intend for there to take place in that ride. And you need to understand, my car is not a preachy place. People don't get in my car and I start (laughs) interrogating them about their faith and their relationship with God. We just talk about life. and, And if they're not a talker, then I just drive. And if they like to talk, and many do, then we have a great and encouraging conversation. So the ride pickup was at a Golden Corral restaurant. The passenger's name was Juanita. I got to the Golden Corral and this young lady began to make her way from a car where her parents were saying goodbye to her. And I loaded her stuff in the car. She waved goodbye to her parents. And I began to activate the ride request and saw that this was way more than 60 minutes. This was way more than 120 minutes. I was taking her to Fort Lee in uh, Petersburg, Virginia. I actually went from Lynchburg and spent just a few miles driving on I-95 way east of us. Juanita is a soldier. She's a diesel mechanic. I mean, think about that. I mean, she was a... Uh, A young lady who had been trained to be a diesel mechanic and she was preparing to deploy and wanted to spend some time with her family over the weekend. And I got the privilege of serving this soldier and bringing her back to her base where she was going to be deploying from this week. What a blessing. What a great opportunity. So we began to make our way toward Fort Lee, and within maybe 10 or 15 minutes, I looked in my rear view mirror, and she had just conked out. She was sound asleep. Now, that was encouraging to me because I like my passengers to feel safe where they can rest and just relax, and she slept. She slept all the way until we got about 20 minutes away when I heard her stir, and I said, good morning. We're about 20 minutes away. She needed that rest. She had been having a busy weekend. And it made me just think about this whole idea of our ability to rest. 
in God. So many times we we don't rest in the Lord. We're restless. Reminded me of the words of Jesus when he said, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Psalm 62, 1 says, Truly my soul finds rest in God. My salvation comes from him. And I love this verse in Jeremiah chapter 6 and verse 16. This is what the Lord says. Stand at the crossroads and look. Ask for the ancient paths. Ask where the good way is and walk in it and you will find rest for your souls. But listen to the last part of this verse. But you said, we will not walk in it. So you see the choice today is yours. You can enter into his rest or you can con be contented to be restless. It's up to you. Just like Juanita fell asleep in the safety and the comfort of my little Honda Fit on that ride to Fort Lee. You can rest in God today. It's your choice. Rest or restlessness. Father, I thank you today. <laughs> I thank you today for the great night's rest that I had last night. But just as I enjoyed that physical rest, Lord, as I start my day today, I also desire spiritual rest. Help me to be a blessing, to be a servant to others today. Bless the morning man, a family of listeners with your rest. Help them to enter into your peace. In Jesus' name, amen. Our website is morningmana.com. My email address, Bruce Turner at Gmail. Dot com. And let this episode be also a reminder for you to pray for Juanita, who's deploying this week. Pray for others who so sacrificially serve our country to keep us safe and protect us. If you're in the service, thank you for your service. Have a great day. Till tomorrow morning, this is Bruce reminding you to choose joy. Choose joy.